please help me give a warm welcome to Rina Romano. I was absolutely thrilled when I was asked to be your keynote speaker today and share my story. Then I was told I have seven minutes to do it in. So to make a long story short, today I am a professional speaker, a speaking coach, a wife, and a mother to a fur baby. Now I've had a lot of successes in my life. But the one that I am most proud of is that I am a Me Too Sir Thriver. I survived many years of child sexual abuse. And I survived being raped in the middle of the night in my own home by a colleague. I was afraid to tell the police, to call the police. I was afraid to tell anyone. I absolutely loved that job, but I had to find another one to escape. Now, I don't want you to be sad for me, because as you can see, my story has a happy ending. But there was a time where I didn't feel that I was worthy of a happy life. I spent many years deeply ashamed of my past. They say your secrets make you sick, well, mine were almost lethal. When I was 34, I found myself one night standing in front of my closet full of beautiful clothes. And I was searching for the perfect outfit to wear. Now, I wish I could tell you that I was getting ready for a really hot date. But the truth is, I was searching for the perfect outfit to wear as I killed myself. Later that evening, I began screaming, I don't want to die. I'm broken, and I just can't live with this shame. But I remember the crisis number on TV, so I called. The man who answered was gentle, calming, and I felt safe. He listened without interruption or judgment, and when I finished, he said, congratulations on your courage and strength to persevere. Congratulations? I thought he would be judgmental. I thought he would blame me for my horrific secrets. Instead, he made me feel just a little bit proud of what I survived. I found that the more that I shared my story, it was a form of spiritual CPR. And I was given the opportunity to share my story on the biggest platform in the world. And in October of 2009, I shared my story with Oprah. <laughs> yes, it was the scariest thing I have ever done. Scared to death, but I had to do it because I grew tired of being ashamed of crimes that I didn't commit. And I'm determined to be a voice for those who have not found theirs yet, because I know that remaining silent does not work. I began studying the attributes of survival, and I found that they highlight courage, strength, tenacity, and perseverance. These are the successful coping strategies of resilient victims. They are the attributes of a pace girl. Now, I found that writing my memoir was helpful in my healing process. And later, I developed a program called the Thrive Perspective. And this helps people focus on their strengths instead of their weaknesses. Because what I found is, when we tend to focus on our weaknesses or the negative events in our life, that is what keeps us from achieving our dreams. Now, I think that you'll agree with me that heroes don't just come in comic books. Mm -hmm. Heroes are all around us. I bet you're sitting next to one. I bet you are one. 
My heroes, the man on the phone, Oprah, my husband, my counselors, my mom. But there are many heroes that I will never know. And those are the folks who supported the nonprofits where I received help. My heroes helped me focus on my strengths. Instead of being ashamed of my past, I learned how to celebrate that I survived it. Now, all of us are going to go through difficulty, so I encourage you, when you do, focus on your strengths. Learn to celebrate your courage, that you persevered through it. Because if there's one thing that I know for sure, there is no room for shame in the face of courage. Now, last year, when I was researching for my TEDx talk, I discovered a philosophy that I share with survivors and folks just like you who may feel overwhelmed or broken by your difficulties. And it's called Genzuchi. Have you heard of this? Mm -hmm. It's a Japanese art form of restoring pottery with gold. It restores the object instead of discarding it, highlighting its flaws and making it even more valuable. Now, long story short, it's not about me anymore because I've made it with the help of my heroes. Today, it's about the girls right here in our community that need our help. Now, many of them don't share my story, but they face adversities that you and I cannot comprehend. By supporting PACE, you are their hero. You are the gold that repairs their broken pieces. With your help, these girls will grow into strong, productive women and have a happy ending to their life, too.